Hey YouTube, it's David once again playing with the printer and I'm going to try to print this out. It's a Spake Orc, Space Orc, Orkling mini tank, so obviously a, a Grotling tank. I think those are Forge World models. And this is what it, a rough printout. That is a, I think my printer will do better than that. And here's what the models look like. And what is that? I think that's a hatch. And I saw some people do, some people make four of these. And I saw this one. And it's painted. It looks pretty cool. Then again, you know, this is 3D printers and they're not the most high, dialed up ones. I mean, these are hobbyist printers. So you're not going to get nice smooth things unless you can do this in ABS, which I'm still screwing around with. And the ABS, you could um, treat it with uh, acetone in a paint can and it'll smooth it out over time. So, um, so far, I, let's get back to where we were. I got this piece and this piece printed. And we'll take you over to the printer. And got everything off. I'm gonna turn my printer off real quick. And, oops, where did that go? Oh, oh. That's stuck. I'll get it out in a second. Oops. Be right back, sorry about So I am back. Uh, I had to go chases across the room. Where'd that piece go? Shoot. I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that. We're back. So uh, this is the hatch. I think it's better than that original photo they had on there. God, this stuff's slippery. Um, here is the turret so you can tell you know it's a little rough but it's much nicer than what they had in the original uh, photo and this is the mini gun a little uh, uh, like Gatling gun and I think that's gonna come off of here and that goes on to the uh, turret and then the other sections I'm gonna print out next so um, I'll be back in a second to show you what it's going to look like. So we're on the um, Repetier or whatever the hell this is called. And I'm going to get these rid of these models. And then we're going to load a new one. So we got the turret and the mini tank itself. This is going to be a bigger model. It's going to take a while to print. There we go. We have the gun. We have the, uh, the tank body itself and the tracks. And then we'll uh, run it through the slicer. Let's go through the slice, it's done. Two hours and 30 minutes. Okay, this is going to be a long haul. So this will be the only thing I'll be doing tonight. And cross your fingers for me, or uh, um, actually you'll probably see this anyways if I fail. And uh, we'll be back in a second and show you our progress. As usual, thank you for joining me. Hey, we're back real quick. I just wanted to give you a real quick update. Um, Still almost two hours. It was two and a half hours, so we're like 40 minutes in. Um, it says it's printing 15 layers of 137, so we still have an hour and 50 minutes and some change left. But so far, so good. Got my fingers crossed. Um, I've attempted this in the past, but I think I'm getting the printers dialed in. I think stepping back for a while and kind of looking at it with a fresh set of eyes and it's being so uh, caught up in getting excited using it. Um, 
and getting to the point of wanting to throw the printer off my balcony. Um, I have, I think, mutual respect for each other now. It's still very temperamental, but um, I am getting stuff done with it. And I like that little console is cool. And I want to do some uh, more uh, designing. This is not design. This is, like I said, I downloaded off of Thingiverse. And I'd like to be able to get little things like this designed up. And um, yeah, a little, like I said, I want to do some stuff for terrain. Like furnishings and stuff like that would be kind of cool. Like a blown up building to have like a big conference table and a desk and a chair. Uh, laying in the rubble would be just awesome. I think it would add a lot of narrative to uh, any kind of uh, terrain piece on a table. And um, as some know, I do sell terrain on eBay from time to time when I get the uh, urge to build something. And I put a lot of time and love in it. So um, we'll be back in a second and probably we'll get closer to when we're done or possibly when we're done. Uh, thanks for joining me. Okay, we are back. Just doing a little quick update. Let me zoom in on all this. As you can see, uh, the treads are almost done. It says we are on layer 37 of 137. So that must mean that these are almost done, the uh, tracks. And then that'll speed up everything. So we'll be just doing the, uh, the body of the tank and the uh, main cannon. So that should go uh, a little bit quicker because we are at 57 minutes. So it's uh, about um, half or about an hour since I checked it last with you guys. Um, also, you notice there's no crumbs. I've been turning the heat up and um, really, really just uh, taking my time and uh, reading a lot of the forums and that has been helping tremendously. And also when you get those crumbs, especially when you're doing multi-pieces, they cool down quickly and then there's a possibility of popping your pieces off. And I've tried to do this in the past when I first got this printer, literally probably five times and never got a good print out of it. Maybe those couple of little things like the, uh, the turret and the um, minigun and the hatch. But uh, this is uh, looking way better. But still keep my, I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. And then um, we'll be back in a while and uh, give it a check when it gets um, closer to the end. Thanks. Okay, we're back almost two hours and 15 minutes later, a little over that. We have uh, 14 minutes left, and you can see we got the cannon done, the treads are done. Um, it looks like this thing got dialed in. Um, still got to pop it off, and we still have 14 minutes left, so, you know bad things can happen but let's uh, cross our fingers still and then uh, I'm gonna uh, take this uh, well I'll show it to you when, when it's done printing we'll pop it off and put it together and uh, maybe paint it up uh, see you in a few Wow we uh, made it through so um, we actually got it printed um, looks good so far I'm gonna wait let it for a cool little bit before I pop it off and uh, got all the details so we're gonna put the hatch on turret uh cannon will go here i believe and then yeah the turret then uh, we'll put the gun on the turret and then we'll go from there i uh, i am so stoked and uh we will show you in a second what it looks like uh we'll pop it off put it on the table and glue it together thanks for joining me okay we are back everything came off the printer nicely um uh, a little bit of uh weirdness but it's like spun i don't know it's supposed to look they can be all rusty and anything the uh, little like, stack there I may magnetize it. A um, little step there. Uh, the only thing that's kind of strange is we got bolts along this edge right here. And these guys go like this. And I gotta figure a way. I gotta get those bolts off. See if I can cut them off. Um, What else? I have one of these. Or I might have to use a Dremel. You know what? Let's see if I have my Dremel laying around. I got the Dremel here. Let's see. Get the. Uh, I've usually have this always, and I'm knocking stuff around with the wires. Down a little bit. Yeah, 
It's gonna screw it up a little bit, but we're gonna, I'm just gonna be hidden behind everything anyways. I'm gonna do the other side and get all that cleaned up and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I just took those um, rivets down because there's nothing really to, for it to lay flush on. That's the front of the tank. Um, that's the tread and that looks like little doors, little decorations on there. And that one goes like that. So let's uh, get, rough this up a little bit so we have something for the glue to hold on to also. It's got a lot of a lot of shine to it. And I'm gonna use some of this uh, super glue gel. And that's a bunk tube. Luckily, I've been buying this stuff at the dollar store. No more frustrating uh, buying uh, bottles of it that just seize up and these just throw them away if you don't use them all. And if you use them all in one sitting. Nice. So, get a nice bead all around there. We can go above that, anyways. And I keep a rag behind me to wipe this clean. Okay, then we uh, make sure we're using the right thing. Try to get that straight. I got a little bit of glue seeped out. That's okay. Okay, let's do the other side. Try to get this even. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oops. Keep this frame. Oh, let's try to get this even. I think I might have had some uh, accelerator left on it. But that looks good so far. <clears throat> Let's put a gun on. Grab the tube. Put on the big uh, cannon. I did a little uh, pre-roughing on this one too with a, a, a file stick or sanding stick, whatever you want to call it. It looks like, I think I want to put the uh, sight on the top. That looks better than the way they had it. We got that. Okay, and let's do um, the little hatch on top of here. That shouldn't be that hard to do. Okay, then we have to do the little gun. I'm starting to lose control here with this glue. It's starting to ooze. <clears throat> That should be enough. Um, let's get the little Gatling gun. And that's been cut off that little plastic base right here. We have a turret, so let's...
shoot. This is going to be a little difficult. I'm going to have to <coughs> put it on straight up and down. <coughs> Some allergies or something. My throat is just screwed up lately. Okay. Oh, I didn't hold. Shoot. There we go. So then we have... I might... I don't have to magnetize it. A little offset like that looks kind of cool. Let's do that. Silver on the top, we're done. There, we got a little rot tank. Let's see. Not a bad piece. It's still 3D printed, so it's got a lot of lines in it. Um, I see I got some glue, uh, little glue mix ups. Oh, wow, this stuff is hard. Let's see if I can fix it with the uh, Dremel. That was easy, uh, easy work of that. It's got the little tank. It's kind of weird. This uh, the top turret doesn't really fit in that little circle there, but I guess it gives it a little more detail when it hangs off the edge a little bit. It's got a little gun, and this is kind of cool. Um, it'd be kind of fun to paint this up and maybe make a little squad of these. Um, so I'll paint out that cannon, make it black in there, and I think I like how make that a viewport on the top or like an aiming device I didn't like how it showed a lot of photos it was on the bottom part and kind of hit it and actually there's little uh, rivets and everything on there too so uh, that'll be it for this uh, little uh, video I did of the Grot tank 3D printed Grot tank remember this is on Thingiverse put in Orc tank it'll come up I think it's Orky Orc tank or, or Orkling tank so don't use grots or anything like that. The one I was getting sued by uh, um, Games Workshop. So I'm not selling it so I can call it a grot tank. And uh, that'll be it. We'll see you in the next video. Um, might be doing some painting next or still screwing around with the 3D printer. You can never tell. But as usual, thank you for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, I wanted to come back real quick to see the scale of it. Um, we got little cat. Oh, I have an orcs right here. Oh, I forgot. I have these uh, guys I'm redoing. But these are bought from a... Uh, um, Great Escapes, they had a, um, what do they call, a swap meet, and I got these for like a buck a piece or something like that. So that's a standard orc with that. So a little grot, I don't have one laying around here, surprisingly. I have one in my display case, and I have both of them in the display case. One's on the uh, battle wagon from um, the one I did, I took to um, Games Day. But uh, there, and there's a catachin, like from the, that, and there's a computer console. So, uh, uh, everything's cool. Um, thanks again, and we'll uh, see you in the next video.